Well, hello, folks. Uh, welcome to another edition of the Kitchens of Canon. You know, there's a lot of seasons that I love. I love the fall and I love the winter and all the great food that you get with there in the summertime, uh, fresh vegetables. But you know, one of the seasons that I look forward to every year is the California King Salmon season. And I got to tell you, it's out right now and it is the best that I have ever seen it. It is just a wonderful, wonderful product and you can't get any better than California King Salmon. I got three ways to show you how to prepare it today. And let's get started, all right? The first way that I like to do it, very simple, is I do a method which, which called sort of smoking and roasting at the same time. I use my barbecue here and I get the coals going. I put on a little cherry wood chips. You can use any kind of a hardwood that you like, oak or cedar or, or alder wood or whatever. I like cherry. I think it really gives a wonderful flavor uh, to the uh, salmon. So I put a little lows on there and it got the fire going here. And this is how I'm going to prepare the salmon. Look how beautiful this is. This is can, you, can you see that, folks, how red and gorgeous that is? I'm not going to mess with this that much. I'm going to make this very easily. So all I have here is a mixture of 50-50 mixture of Dijon mustard. And I like to use agave syrup. Now, agave syrup kind of has a flavor between honey and maple. So you get why that would be so great with the salmon. I'm going to put a little salt on here first, and that's it. I mean, not much at all. The salmon has so much flavor. Take just a little bit of this sauce and spoon it on. You can brush it on as well, just like that. And I like to cover it completely because that forms a seal at the top, and it just makes for a great crust. So that is it. That's all that I do. Now, I'm going to put it right on the grill here, and I already have one going that I'm going to show you. Here's a tip. I do this instead of right on the grill grapes, I do it right on a sheet of foil that I sprayed with a little oil. That prevents a sticking and easy to remove as well. So there's one right there. I got this other one right here and does that look beautiful? Man, oh man. <laughs> I want to eat that right now. I don't want to keep going here, but uh, I think I will. Now, one way to show this or show this to your friends and serve this is very, very easily. I'm going to simply put this on a bed of greens. In this case, I have spinach. And you can see that I've got some wonderful California figs. Keep that theme going. And uh, another thing I like to put on is Mrs. Covenson's wonderful croutons. This is the panini flavor. They're all uh, pre-seasoned. They're wonderful. So I'm going to put a little of those on the side, add a little crunch. And to keep the theme going any, even more, some California avocado oil and just put that a little bit on the top, just like that, wonderful. And maybe a little bit of balsamic vinegar also from California. There we go, doesn't that look wonderful? Now, another way that you can do this very easily is uh, that you can go ahead and put it on uh, some bread, have a nice crusty roll and just serve it very simply as a sandwich. That's a great way to have it there. But here's a way that I really like to impress my friends and I call it the California King Salmon Martini and this is the way I do it. Take a nice big uh, martini glass here and I've taken that same salmon that I made. All I did was flake it up a little bit, didn't add anything more to it and first I'm going to add a little bit of that same sauce that I put on the salmon, that agave and uh, Dijon mustard sauce. Put a little bit of that right there. That forms a nice base. Then I'm going to take a few spoonfuls of this wonderful salmon and just like that. Is that great or what? Then uh, to garnish it, I've got two things here. I've got a wonderful uh, mango and a wonderful, beautiful California avocado. Again, keep that theme going. So I got the avocado and the mango. Then to top it off, a little bit of orange zest. This just adds a nice little note at the top and also nice little decoration. Now, why did I call this a martini? Very simple. I like to add just a little bit of vodka to it. Hey, I'm crazy, you know, but salmon and vodka really go together well. And you can use any kind you want, just like that, just a little bit, maybe about a half a shot. And let that marinate for, oh, I'd say just a, you know, couple, a couple minutes before you serve it to your friends. Uh, you know, if you've got some flavored vodka, orange or lemon, that would work as well. So there you have it. You've got three ways to have this wonderful California King salmon. We've got it nice, my smoked roasted salmon with the agave and Dijon mustard sauce served with the California figs. 
and Mrs. Cubbinson's wonderful croutons. We've got the wonderful crusty roll with the beautiful salmon, a nice way to just have it very simply as a sandwich. And I think my favorite, the California King Salmon Martini. Go out and enjoy. It's not out for very long, folks. Just uh, go online for additional recipes. You can go to uh, California King Salmon. Just go ahead and do a search on that. You'll get right to their website for a lot more information about California King Salmon. I'm Becca.